Hello everyone, this is Matt at Fisher Electronics, out in the field actually, and making a video of a uh, quick tech, uh, tech help video if you run into this. Uh, this is an interesting scenario here. The symptom is no audio on your television from a Charter Spectrum cable box. In this particular case, the cable box model on the very front is Spectrum 210. Um, you might have a different model number, um, but this, in this particular case, that's the model of the box. General settings you're going to do, we have HDMI out of the box to the TV. Um, the menu of our menu in this case looks like this off of our Spectrum box. Generally, things you want to do and things that we did for our settings. Go down to Settings and Support. Uh, in this case, we're going to go to Preferences arrow to the right to audio video and in here we're going to select audio audio output is what we're looking for now initially this was not in the right audio output it was up in Dolby Digital so if you're in a different output you will not have audio if you're using HDMI out of the box to the TV so we put that down in HDMI you would think then you're going to get audio, but we still did not get audio to our television. Though all the way we confirmed it was the cable box is they have a Blu-ray player here. So we turned the Blu-ray player on, changed inputs to that input, had audio. That tells us it's not a TV problem, it's the source, which is the cable box. Uh, so we're going to back out of here. Uh, the next thing we did is you'd unplug your box from electricity. Wait 10 to 20 seconds plug it back in. What was interesting in that symptom was initially the box boots up real quick within 30 seconds and then you'll see a screen that says uh, press any key to continue. That would be the only time that we had audio. Um, after you press any key it says okay great we're setting things up to finish and then uh, when you'd get to your normal TV channel like this no audio whatsoever using HDMI. So at that point, it's like, well, now we need to contact Spectrum. Uh, called them, got to tech support. We told them the scenario. Um, and I do recommend looking at the back of your box to verify that giving them the serial number or the last few digits so that they know what box that they're talking to and they can verify. But they identified that. Um, they said, okay, let me run the uh, audio diagnostics and audio fix on that. Within 10 seconds, audio returned. So the problem was this cable box, and the only solution after doing those two things, which is going into the menu, making sure your audio settings is HDMI out, if you're using HDMI to your TV, and then unplugging it from electricity, um, then you're at the mercy of your calling your cable company, in this case, Spectrum. Um, he did the audio diagnostics again, audio returned. Um, I asked him also, okay, is that a setting that only you can change on your end, or was there something I was missing on my side? Uh, he said, nope, it's on our side. We had to do that that way. So that would verify that if you run into that condition and you've checked your audio settings to where it's HDMI and you've unplugged your box from power, wait about 10, 20 seconds or so, plug it back in, and still have no audio on your TV channels, it's very possible it could be, at least what we ran into in this case, a setting from the provider, in this case Spectrum, to where you contact them, get to tech support, and then audio, they'll run the audio diagnostic, and audio in this case returned. There could be cases, you know, as this goes along, where maybe they run those diagnostics and say, hey, all right, we got to replace your box because one of those two things at that point would happen. Um, again, they said there's nothing on your side else that you can do. It's a setting on our end. So I just wanted to go over that with you. If you run into that condition, give those other things I said a try. But at that point, if that does not work, that's when you're going to be wanting to call your cable company, in this case, Spectrum. All right, we'll see you on the next one. Matt at Fisher Electronics. Visit us at fisherelectronics.net. And you know what to do. Subscribe or throw your comments down below. Have a good one, everybody.